How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario Sticker Star. Last time, we entered the Sand Shifter Ruins, and we took care of the normal exit. However, there is a secret exit thanks to a secret comet piece that we still need to grab, and I do believe it is right over this way. So when you take care of the level for the first time, you will shift that shifter over to facing the direction of that paratroopa over that way. You'll fall down that way. And then the next time you do this level, the path will be clear for you to head over here at this big door. And that's the door you want to enter, because when you do, you can see it at the very top center of the screen, the hidden comet piece that we are going to be grabbing. This place is very large. Just saying, keep that in mind. Okay, so we have this shiny jump sticker here. I don't think there's a... Oh, actually, no. If we go over this way, we end up over here. So that's not too bad. Uh, but there is nothing over here for us, so yay, wasting time. There's a better shot of the comet piece you can see. Okay, if we head back here, what we need to do is we need to jump down this sarcophagi over here. And we need to open this one. Nope. I think it's this one. Yes, we need to open up this one. This will take us upward over here. And we can jump, d uh, fall down here rather. And then open up this sarcophagi. And that will release a whole bundle of sand. Allowing us to shift the sand position up there. And allow us to grab the uh, comet piece. So let's go do that. I think there's just a dry bones in there. I don't think there's anything for us. And I don't believe there's anything in this either. It's just a place we can stand. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally just a place that we can stand in. Okay, enough wasting time. Let's go ahead and fail grabbing the comet piece twice. But now we can grab it. All right, let's see how many... Oh, actually, this coin count isn't too bad for going through this level again. I mean, I've faced maybe... How many enemies? I maybe faced... Uh, I don't want to say more than... Actually, no. Overall, overall battles, it was maybe like eight, but overall enemies was way more than ten. Uh, anyway, so we finally did the secret... Uh, <laughs> word sandwich. We finally did the secret exit. Now we have access to the fourth stage of World 2, Damp Oasis. Before you do that, though, you are going to want to go to Decalburg and paper, uh, stickerize a couple things. Sling some things on the wall over to the west side of Decalburg. You're going to want to paperize your faucet. Uh, stickerize, rather. Stickerize your faucet. Stickerize your vacuum. Uh, and what I did and went ahead and what I went ahead and did is stickerize a light bulb and a trumpet as well. The trumpet will come into play a little bit later. Uh, but for now, how about we enter the deep oasis, uh, damp deep oasis, whatever. It's the same thing when you think about it. All right. So if we go over here, there is this toad covering his eyes in fear. That's great and everything. All right, right here. You're gonna be pushed by the tornado of sand, but what you can do is stop right here, go into the paperization mode, and plant yourself that vacuum sticker that you just swung against the wall in Decalberg, and when you do so, I like how that sand tornado turned into a flat board that you could just end up going in that area. That's actually pretty hilarious. All right, there's some pokies over here, so that's cool. And look, there's the comet piece. I'm not going to grab that right now. What I do want to show off is this over here. 
In the hills of Drybake Desert, sand flows between two striped cacti. Show no fear and jump in. And yes, that is your hint for the one tablet piece that you're gonna need eventually, and you will keep that in mind. Also, I didn't read that Toad's dialogue. I just, I just let him run off. All right, let's go circle around. Actually, I probably should have just went the other way. I don't know why I continued go. Oh no, this is why I wanted to continue going left. Secret door location. Those will come into play rather soon, actually, so have no fear. Secret doors will be no longer secret anymore in a, a little bit, actually. Let's enter this area of the oasis, and oh, Toad's crying. Poor Toad. All right, well, you can see what needs to be done. We can actually hop in here, which is pretty funny, and we can go into paperization mode, and doing so, we can plant ourselves the faucet sticker, and when we do so... Not only did we teleport out of the middle of the oasis, but we got a swanky toad over here chilling out. Oh, hey man. Listen, major props for restoring the oasis back to the way it was. I'm sure you know this, but when you're in the desert, water is the bomb -om. Seriously, I haven't felt this mellow in pretty much forever. So, I, uh, kinda changed in a hurry, so it might still be a mess inside. It's no biggie, though. You should take a load off and relax, too. I sure will, Toad. Thank you for the invitation into your home. And inside your home, we can actually find the final treasure chest that we need, which contains... The final tablet piece. Alright. And if we head up here by your bed, we can check your blinds, and we can gain access to the outside, but there's only one way to go, and that is this way. And if we jump up here on top of your roof, we can grab a new thing! The shaved ice! Alright, let's jump off your roof, not break any bones, because this is a video game! Hooray, video game physics! And now we can head out of the oasis, because we've restored it to its proper being. And you can even notice a really cool detail. You can even notice in this section here that the oasis is back to being the way it was when before it didn't look that way over here. So that's a pretty neat detail. Anyways, we're done with the damp oasis. Uh, deep damp, what, whatever. Let's grab the comet piece. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. It's an oasis nonetheless. I mess up level thing. I mess up names and things all the time. It doesn't really matter. Hey, look at this big amount of coins we got. I promise not to spend it in one place. Thank you, game. Thank you. And yes, that was the entire level. Technically, we didn't even need to do the whole thing with bringing the Oasis back to its former glory. We could have just, uh, as soon as we sucked up the sand with the vacuum, we could have grabbed the Comet piece and that would have been that. I mean, seriously. Like, it's- this is just hilarious. Alright, I know this episode's on the rather short side, so I'm gonna do that one thing that I wanted to do- uh, the one thing that I was planning on doing later, and that is heading back to Surfshine Harbor now that I've, uh, stickerized the light bulb that we got a little while ago. And if we come over here, enter the paperization mode, grab our light bulb, and plant it right there. Uh, look how tiny the light bulb sticker is compared to the place that you can put it. I think this is the only light bulb sticker in the game, so I mean, why this box is so huge compared to how tiny the light bulb is, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, the light bulb was pretty large when it was still a thing and not a sticker, so. Anyway, remember I came here before saying, yeah, you, this, you can't do that now. Well, now you can with the light bulb as soon as you, uh, stickerize it. The reason you couldn't come over here is because there was a sleeping toad in the way. <sighs> Mario? Oh, hey. Yeah, I was looking for something when the lights went out. Boom, pitch black, and then boom, 
Fast asleep. Sorry to block your way. I have a habit of sleeping really, really hard when the lights go out. Honest to goodness. And now that he's jumped out of the way, we can grab the ship's wheel. I'm sure the captain at Surfshine Harbor is going to be happy that I got his wheel back. Let's go give him the good news. As soon as we exit the warehouse. <laughs> Alright, come on, Captain! I'm bringing you your ship wheel. I hope you will be happy. And we're almost there. Almost. Don't worry, Captain. I don't even need to talk to you. I got this on my own. Ready? Paperize mode. And... Let's see, let's line this up carefully because we kind of need actually it doesn't matter. Let's just yeah, let's just let's just plant it down. Ah, oh, so this the, there wasn't any wheel. I knew something didn't look right. No wonder it wouldn't move. Thank you, good sir. You certainly are a first-rate mechanic. Now I can get back to being a glorious seafaring cap seafaring captain. All aboard, anchors away. Full steam ahead. Stay your stray ta- Stow your stray tables. And... We're not going anywhere because I already did... I'm not losing my mind, right? Actually, I don't think this boat can move at all. Yeah, I don't think this boat moves at all until after we do World 3. So I think we're safe? I think, yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. We did the Oasis. We got our hidden comet piece. We saved the ship for the captain. Yes, I wanna go back to the world map. And there we go. All right, so next time on Paper Mario Sticker Star, looks like we will be wrapping up World 2 by heading to the Dry Bake Stadium. So with that, thank you for watching. You know, on second thought, this episode might be a little too short for my liking. Just, even though we did a lot, it just feels like, I get this gut feeling, it might be a little shorter compared to the other ones. So, I think I want to talk about some unused stickers that were supposed to be in the game, or were planned to at one point, but then got cut during development. So first off is a larger version of the Leaf sticker. Nobody knows why a large version was cut, maybe it was like a sticker type for a sticker type later on that we'll see that I don't really want to talk about now, but a larger version of the Leaf Sticker was originally going to be in the game, but then it got cut. It ended up going unused. And then these next couple of stickers never, ever touched the game at all in any other way, although one of them might have been replaced by another sticker that we'll see a little bit later on. First up is a Piranha Plant sticker. Um, I assume, obviously, it would have been dropped by Piranha Plant enemies, uh, so the reason why it got cut, nobody seems to know. Uh, that's really all I can say because there isn't much available information on these stickers. I just wanted to talk about them. Uh, next up is a rock sticker. Uh, it most likely would have functioned similarly to the pebble from Paper Mario, uh, but... Otherwise, there really isn't any type of information I can give you on that one. Uh, next up would have been a spiny egg sticker. So similarly to the spike ball sticker, that spikes drop, um, maybe it would have been dropped by spinies, or maybe uh, before a couple episodes ago when I mentioned how Lakitu has some unused sprite data, uh, maybe you could have gotten spiny eggs from defeating Lakitu's? Maybe? I don't know, but that sticker ended up going unused. And lastly, a Super Leaf sticker. Um, it might have been replaced by a, stick, uh, by a sticker we will be seeing a little bit later on in the game, so I don't really want to go and spoil it right now, but that also ended up going unused. Uh, but yeah, so hooray for extending the episode a bit. 
Uh, with that being said, for real this time, that is going to do it for this episode of Paper Mario Sticker Star. Next time, Dry Bake Stadium. Let's wrap up World 2. Thank you for watching, and until then, catch you later.